Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey Throttle Media. We're here with our buddy Ratto from Dirt and Iron. If you guys have seen his YouTube channel, you're familiar with his projects and his work. Great dude. Thanks for uh, coming out today. Thanks for having me. And you built a 2001 YZ125. Tell us a little bit about this project. Yeah, so uh, this is 2001 YZ125. I picked it up for $700, right? Was it pretty hammered? Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. It had like a huge desert tank on it and it looked pretty uh, ugly and all that. So uh, the plan was, I didn't want to do any restyle kit. Like I didn't want to put anything from like 2017 or 2020, uh, nothing like that. I wanted to keep it 2001, but do it as good as possible in the stock form. And uh, I did a little tweaking to the engine. So Tom Morgan did the engine. He did a big port 134 and a race fuel only. So cut the head and ported everything, all that good stuff. Then uh, Parapros, Brad from Parapros, he helped me to build the engine, put everything together. And we just went completely through everything. So the bike is uh, pretty much as good as new, I would say. You tell me you rode it. I did. And, and I, it was interesting for me because 2001, I was still racing 125s. And at the time, the Yamaha of Troy bikes were the best 125 you could be on. And 01 was the year they introduced the 250F. And so Ernesto was riding that and I think Ramsey on the, on the east. But they still had guys on the 125 and it was such a good race bike. It was intimidating racing against those guys on either bike because they just sounded so good. You knew they worked well. So I was excited to kind of go back in time and, and see how this thing felt. And I know it's a 134, but man, the, the motor is really fun. Um, lots, of, lots of middle and top on this thing. You know, typical 125 takes a little bit of clutch to get it going, right. but boy, the second you bring the R's up, it just starts pulling. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about it for me is the chassis. You see this, this big dip in here, the big pocket, you know, modern bikes would be very flat. And for me, this pocket, and maybe because I'm, I'm shorter, a tall guy would struggle, but it felt you're down in the bike. And so it just lets it corner really well. You can just throw this thing into a right. berm or rut. Um, really fun to ride and it felt a little smaller so for me obviously you work out well. short guy I really worked out well uh, but you did a good job because the suspension the guys at race tech knocked this thing out of the park super plush like sometimes when you go back in time on these older bikes yeah. they don't handle well especially the suspension it just parts get old and that you just forget that how far technology has come this thing worked great you know into the big bumps landing on stuff worked awesome um, yeah, just, fun, fun let me, power. Let me just tell you a little more about what we did to this bike. Yeah, right? let's, so, let's hear it. Uh, when I got it, I took everything apart uh, completely, and the frame actually was a little bit damaged. So we had to weld the frame. Then we sent it over to San Diego for the coating. And we did this red color. This is a guess, guess red. Because I wanted, I like that all like mid 80s. Yeah. Why is this? They look that white, red, and a little bit of the black over there. It just looks so nice. So I didn't want to change the plastics. I want to keep that 2001. But I was like, hey, I can be a little creative with the colors, right? So I, I went back a little bit in time and brought back this red, white, and black. And I, I think it just looked amazing. So once that was done, we rebuilt all the bearings, re all the bearings. We did a bunch of hydro blasting at Sentimental Finishing, a bunch of Seraco thing at Sentimental Finishing, and then uh, start putting everything back together. So we have uh, ProX, uh, ProX was the rod in the in a crank. Andrew Langston did a crank for us, which should uh, vibrate less than a stock bike. Did you feel that? It felt good. I mean, yeah, right. sometimes again with old bikes, you get that vibration. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have hardly any. Andrew told us that it's going to be better than stock, so I, I go with that. And then, uh, so, uh, Wisco, the clutch basket, we get the reckless clutch, not the auto clutch, but the uh, torque drive. Yep. And uh, Wisco piston. So once that was done, Brad again, Parapros put everything together for us. And then uh, we did full FM system, but this FMF pipe, uh, they don't have factory for this year, right? This is an old bike, so they don't make factory. They only make a nickel plate or chrome, whatever you call it, right? So we had to strip that down and give it a treatment. Uh, Robbie from Robbie's Pipe Repair, he did that for us and he welded everything and got a torch and make it look all, you know, cool and all that. So we have that uh, shorty uh, FMF uh, silencer here. And even the tag you said, yeah. that, that was, you had to weld that on exactly. and you hit that with a little bit of heat to make yeah. it gold. It looks really nice. Yeah. So, it, you know, every little detail took, took a lot of time. For example, the plugs for the, for the swing arm, I wanted them black, so they are 3D printed. Oh. And we have buddies at Australia and they 3D printed it for us and just worked beautifully. And it kind of fits, you know, all these little details. 
be a bunch of uh, works connection. Everything anodized is red because I want to, you know, keep this the color scheme here. All the eye bars, all the eye grips, and uh, what else we have here? Of course, uh, you know, Moto C. They always do this for us on on our build, and they came up with this uh, gas gas red color. Didn't have it before. They only had it Honda red, but they ordered gas gas red, so it came on time for this build. I will really talk about that. Decal MX. Uh, I sent them. Uh, just a rough idea, they came up with the design, they put my flag here, I'm from Slovakia, so my flag is right here. So I really love the, the design they did for the graphics, uh, MX Plastic did the plastics for us. And, uh, what about tires? You got Dunlop tires, Dunlop MX tire. 33s, yeah. what about the wheels? The wheels actually, uh, I couldn't find anything up to market, which actually was a good thing because I, I went and I wriggled the old uh, wheels, I used the hubs, uh, blasted new bearings, seracoated them and did the uh, task uh, rims and spokes. Okay. So we rebuilt that. And I think that looks really good. It's matching everything, so that's uh, just again stock 2001. You know, yeah, yeah. Like keeping that 2100 there. And then uh, we have a stock carburetor that that stock Mikuni. Uh, Tom Morgan gave us a sheet specs for the jetting because he built the, the engine. He did all the porting for race gas. So we played with a little bit with Jay Clark. He helped me. I actually had my arm in a sling after the surgery, so Jay was jetting it for me and helping to break it in. So he helped me a lot with a bunch of things. So Jay Clark, thanks a lot. And yeah, we'll, we had that down. Then of course we have the V-Force reed cage on this engine. And uh, you know, uh, MX Revival guy, uh, what's his name? Charles, MX Revival, yep. he helped me with all the nickel plating for the bolts. Oh, it's amazing how bolts. he can re refurbish yeah. those yeah. and they're, they look brand new. Yeah, so this time we wanted to go like all the way in, do everything, like nothing, uh, nothing untouched. So everything on this bike is touched and uh, as much as possible, I wanted to use a stock what was there on 2001 like yeah. the hoses the plugs all these engine plugs, i mean the frame plugs everything is stacked i just watched it real night and yeah i think it's looking pretty good stock triple clamps just anodized yeah yeah, yeah. and what about foot pegs because i know she got nice titanium scar yeah so keep you plenty a little bit sharper yeah real nice 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 pegs yeah maybe maybe eating a boot a little bit but i think it, it's better for riding right yes yes 100 percent. well listen uh this is a really really cool bike I love seeing your work because you do, do put a lot of time and effort and love into these things. And anyone that's ever rebuilt a bike this old, 20 plus years, you know it's not easy. Hunting down parts and, and there's a lot of just manual labor and elbow grease and money yeah. <laughs> being spent. Yeah. So yeah. I really appreciate your work. Uh, great job as always. And thanks for letting us have a ride. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Um, hope you guys appreciate it. And, and maybe we'll work together with this guy again in the future. Oh, well, sounds good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>